My name's Nick Imrie. My grandfather and my mother were herbalists. I take various herbs myself. One of the main ones is a herb called rhodiola, which is a Russian herb, grows in the Arctic. So it helps you adapt to modern life. Humans probably learned from animals. Animals instinctively can smell out the chemicals within plants. Many animal examples, red squirrels eat pine bark, dogs and cats eat couch grass, one or 2,000 species. We probably learn from observing the natural environment. Herbs are used in the whole plant, not just the active chemicals within the plant that the pharmacist would look for. One example would be dandelion. Modern diuretic drugs such as frusamide are isolated from dandelion. However, the doctors have to prescribe potassium alongside it. Dandelion leaf has the highest incidence of potassium in the natural world. The biggest selling product we have and the best selling product is a very old recipe and it's a designed to clean out the digestive system in a human. If that's not right, you can get everything from depression to aches and pains, fatigue. What this combination does is it cleans out the entire gut of parasites stuck on carbohydrate. So it's like doing a human MOT in effect. Similar to Lent Ramadan Passover, they would have bitter herbs on the table. I think that uh, schools should not only look at teaching the benefits of herbs medicinally, but what appalled me was in an interview with five-year-old children is that they thought vegetables came from the freezer. <laughs>